Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold this origami paper airplane. It's very simple to fold, and I've found through making many different paper airplanes that this one is actually a really straight flyer, and uh, because of its flat point up here, it doesn't get all mangled up when it hits, hits the floor. So uh, to get started, you're going to need a uh, normal rectangular sheet of paper. Uh, it's not exactly important that it's precise, but um, my piece of paper here is 9 inches by 12 inches. Um, so to get started, you're going to want to take your paper and you're going to want to make a valley fold um, this direction so that you have um, the paper divided in half. Make sure that you bring that one edge to the other edge and have a nice strong valley fold in the center. Use your bone folder. Then open it up and you're going to take uh, this corner here and fold it so that this top edge folds, valley folds into the center and just lines up with that center crease. Give yourself just a hair of room so that when we valley fold it later, the pieces of paper don't overlap. You don't want this edge here to overlap the center line. Okay, next take the other side and do a symmetrical folding so that you've got this um, corner folding in exactly the same. Remember, don't go over your center line and use your bone folder to crease it nice and strong. Okay, then we're going to valley fold right along this edge here where those two pieces of paper line up. So you're going to bring this top down and valley fold it. Make sure that this little side here is right along your center line and then valley fold that out. Make a nice strong crease. Okay, now we're going to bring this edge in and we're going to bring it in on a diagonal. This is going to form this is the underside of the plane. This is going to form the, the flat nose. So you can make it a little wider if you want, make it a little shallower if you want. But what you need to do is have this corner that's right here, you need to have that right at the center line. Okay, so if you have it up at the center line here, it'll obviously be wider at the top. If you have it farther down that center line, it'll be narrower at the top. You don't want it to be pointed. That's the only thing. So just, you know, have this line here be on some kind of an angle. Okay, so I'm going to do mine uh, about like that. And then I'm going to valley or crease that valley fold. Crease it nice and strong. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same, same fold on this side. Make it as symmetrical as you can so it looks nice. Um, and just have those two corners touching right there along that center line. Use your bone folder so it's a nice strong crease. Now the remaining piece that's down here, you're going to want to take that and um, valley fold it over those other two corners like that. And that's going to help keep those in place while your airplane is flying. Okay, so that's the underside of the airplane. Now we're going to take this and we're going to mountain fold this piece down like that. Okay, so we have the airplane in half now. Okay, and there's the top and there's the sides. Okay. Now to make the wings, you're going to take this edge here and valley fold downward. And this, again, you can make however you'd like. Um, I start the crease here. You can start it down a little further if you want. And you could adjust it. You could have it um, equal with the bottom. You could have it on a little diagonal. I find that if it's on just a bit of a diagonal, it's not perfectly parallel with this bottom edge that it flies better. Um, but you can experiment with that, kind of like an artistic choice sort of thing. Um, experiment with it, play around with it, and you'll come up with your own model that you like the best. And then once you're done with that, flip it over and fold this wing down so it's symmetrical. Valley folding it so it's symmetrical. Crease it with your bone folder. And now the last bit that's pretty much done, and you can experiment with it there. Um, but one last bit here is I know that most origami doesn't call for cutting, but um, I like to cut a little triangle out of the back like that. And that makes it um, fly really nice. It makes it fly really straight. Um, and again, you can experiment with that as far as you know, cutting it out, not cutting it out, cutting out smaller pieces or larger pieces, and you can decide what works best for your purposes. So that is how to make a origami paper airplane.